Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm Baxter Bell, and today I'd like to continue sharing my mini vinyasas with you. So today's mini vinyasa is a combination of movements between high cobra and extended child's pose. And because we're going to have the hand set for high cobra so the wrists are safe, you will notice as you go back into extended child's pose that, especially if you keep your hands glued where they're supposed to stay, that your butt will not go down probably quite as far as it normally will. So honor that, don't worry about going into the full child's pose in this one, we're heading back in that direction. So this is a great one to create a nice stretch along the sides of the body and the lower back, and also when coming into the high cobra, we get a great stretch across the front of the body as well. So you get some nice lengthening and flexibility in this particular set of poses. And because you're keeping the arms strong, you're also, also going to build strength, especially when you come into the high cobra, you're going to get some nice upper body strength. Uh, from this particular sequence. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first have a blanket for your knees, and if you start in hands and knees position, I want you to move your hands forward about one full hand length, or paw print. So your arms are out in front of you at a 45 degree angle. And then as you inhale, swing the shoulders forward over the wrist slowly, and make sure that your shoulders are directly over your wrist. So if you're way back here, this is gonna put the weight back into your lower back, and if you're way out here, this is going to jam your wrist. So you want to get as vertical as you can. So for me, this feels and looks pretty vertical. So this I'm going to use as my starting spot for the high cobra. So I might inhale here just to get things started, and then we'll move into the dynamic sequence. Exhaling, the hands stay glued and the hips reach back as far back as they can. Inhaling, I come forward and through with straight arms into the high cobra, looking straight ahead. Exhaling, drawing back, head between the arms, arms straight and lifted off the floor. That is the elbows. Inhale, coming forward again. So let's do that four more times for a total of six rounds. Exhale, reaching back as far as you can go without the hands moving. Inhale, coming forward and through into the high cobra. If I need to, I'll make a little adjustment in the distance between my hands and my knees so my arms stay vertical. So two more rounds on your own, moving between the high cobra, and the extended child's pose. And then as I come up, I'll walk my hands back, and then I'll release for a moment, and just take the hands and do some circles. Again, a lot of these hands and knees positions in yoga are demanding on the wrists and the hands, so take a moment to circle the wrists in one direction, give them a little shake, and then you might be ready for a second round. So, high cobra to extended child's pose. Let's go through it for another round of six. This time I'm just gonna talk you through the first one, and then you can follow along or do five more on your own after that, okay? So I'll get you into it, and then we're gonna to practice together quietly. So from hands and knees, I guesstimate my hand distance. I remember I just did it, so I can then I have an idea that's probably gonna work. I'm gonna do one test run where I check my alignment with my eyes. I look at the shoulders and wrists, that looks pretty vertical. And then I'll begin on my exhale. So exhaling back and inhaling forward, and five more. As I finish, I'm going to walk my hands back, bring my legs around so I can rest if you can't sit easily back on your heels and sit cross-legged. I'm going to give my hands a good shake, kind of releasing that tension in the wrists and letting go of that pattern. So this is a great little mini sequence. I love this one. It's one I do almost all the time in my home practice. Hope you have fun with it as well. Thank you for joining me here at Baxter Bell Yoga. You can also follow me on my website, baxterbell.com. Also, I'm uh, the co-creator of Yoga for Healthy Aging, a fabulous blog site on all things yoga. And finally, I have longer practices that you can practice with that are half an hour to uh, an hour and 15 minutes long on the uh, website yogauonline.com. And the U is a big letter U like university. Until the next time, thanks for joining me. Namaste.